Okay then, so today we are going to be having a look at the beginning of modelling. Um, what we are going to be doing is um, turning our cube into this. More, in the original cube you have six faces. Now you can see that we have plenty more than that. So, um, let's just continue. I'm going to go to File, New, Arrange All, get my default screen. And if you hit Tab or click on where it says Object Mode and go into Edit Mode, you will notice that your cube turns pink. Go into here, right now you want, are on Vertex Select Mode, click on Face Select Mode. And you will notice that all the every single square that makes up the cube has one dot. We are going to make it so that it has a few rows, just like I have just shown you. So go back into object mode by hitting tab, or going into this menu here where it says edit mode, and hit object mode. So. This is all in the Noob to Pro guide still by the way, so please check it out, have a look at the authors of it, because it's not just me helping you out, it's a lot of other people, and I can't mention them because there's a long list, so please check that out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the modifiers. Now, say if you're in this button, if you are in any of these buttons, just make sure you're in the edit button, the square with the um, little yellow dots in the corners. Now we are going to look straight across to this box here. Unless you've moved it, it should still be here, named and modifier. So click on that. I might have shown you this in the beginner tutorials but I'm not sure. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to go to subsurf. Now you'll notice that it looks like a very strange boulder shape um, that was originally the cube. So let's say I'm not happy with that anymore, I don't want that modifier anymore. You click this black cross here and it turns back into the cube. It completely removes the modifier. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of different modifiers. Um, the ones that I tend to use are mirror and subsurf. Um, mirror is where you have one object, and when you use the mirror modifier, it reflects. In a way, it creates two, and whenever you edit one, the other one changes in the same way. But as I say, we're using subsurf, so you'll notice it's on levels one. So let's knock that up to two. And here we go, you'll notice that all of a sudden it becomes even more of a sphere. But instead, we're going to have it on three. So that will do the job for us. We are we have now used our first ever modifiers. So it's on level three. If you knock it up too high, apparently Blender will crash. So take your time. If you go over the top also, it will slow down incredibly. Um, it's never crashed on me, but Blender has run that slow. It might as well have done. So, what we are now going to do, now we've got the modifier subsurf set up, is we're going to either tab into edit mode, or we're just going to click on where it says object mode, and go into edit mode. And there you go, you will notice that you now have a pink box around this sphere. This is basically showing you what was originally there before you turned it into a sphere. So, 
if you are not on face select mode in this little row of buttons here, this is vertex, this is edge, and this is face, just make sure you're in face select mode. Now, click on one of these dots, right click or left click, depending on your settings, on one of these dots, it doesn't matter which. And what we are going to do is hit shift and E. Now, the reason why we are doing this is so we can make it back into the box shape. So select one of the sides, hit shift and E. Alright, now what we want to do is just pull that, that um, sphere to the side of the box. And as you can see, it then becomes a boundary. So let's do it with this one, shift and E, and then pull out. Can you see how it's forming the shape of the box? Oops, if that ever happens then just click the right mouse button and it will snap back into its normal place. So shift E, drag it all out, um, I'm in an awkward position there, I think I did it. And we're going to do it with the rest of them. So I'll just leave you to do that. It's not a very long process unless you're doing a large model. Now the last one don't usually matter, but I'll do it anyway. So there you go. Now it should look like a cube. So go into object mode. Now your modifier is complete. We want to apply that, so we hit apply, and what that basically does is removes that bounding box that um, you pulled the sphere up against. So here we have the regular cube, which looks completely like the default cube from above, as you can see, that's pretty much the image you get. But now we've applied the modifier. Let's tab into edit mode or go to object mode and click edit mode and you'll notice that you've got a whole lot more geometry to your model. So that's the end of the um, tutorial. Hopefully now you have learned the subsurfer modifier. It should come in useful throughout you, your Blender experiences. Um, this is thanks to the authors of the Blender Noob to Pro book and I hope to see you in my next tutorial.